Let's talk about using Foxit uh, to save and create a PDF slash A format. Now, as you may know, PDF slash A is meant to be archival, and these documents will be slightly larger, but they will be able to be opened over the long term, whereas if you save it with just a PDF, uh, going forward, as versions change, it may fail to open. Now we're going to start this with a very simple document here, and I'm on the Foxit PDF tab. I'm going to go into my advanced options right here, and under default settings, I could, as you see, set this to be a PDF slash A default, and it does give us a little explanation across the top. So I'm going to say OK. Now that's the advanced under general settings. When I create the PDF, it will just say that it's a demo, and we won't have the option, but the default is to save it now as a PDF slash A. Let's cancel out of there. There are other ways of making a PDF slash A. Let's go to our File tab, and we're going to Print. And notice, we're going to print to Foxit. And let's select Printer Properties. And we can pick PDF slash A here as well. And let's say OK. And for this one, we are going to print it. We're going to wait a moment. And I'm going to call this the demo print. And it should be opening here momentarily in Foxit. If it doesn't, we can always go, oh, and there it is. Please note the little pop-up to the side. It is compliant with PDF A. And if you now want to edit it, you have to do extra settings. Now the other way of doing a PDF A, I happen to have another file here, and this one is just a standard PDF. We can go File, and can we save as, and let's browse, go to our Documents folder, and can we save as a PDF here? We can. Or can we export? Well, you'll notice to other does not give us the option. So we can save as, or we could actually use the pre-flight tool. Let's go to our Convert menu and the far end pre-flight. Now under Profiles here, we have to wait till pre-flight loads. I'm going to pause until we get access here. Now please take note, we can do PDF analysis here and look for certain things, but we do have a section here called PDFA and convert all of these different options. So we're just going to convert to a PDF A slash 1. We're going to analyze first. Now in the background you can see it is analyzing it. And if there are issues with saving this as a PDF A, this analysis will report that. We'll wait for just a moment. We are going to get a report here temporarily. Oh, and it stopped for just a moment. Let me pause. And you can see, when I analyze to see if this document is ready and capable of being converted, it tells me numerous errors appear. I can create a report on this and save it. I should fix these errors before I do save it as a PDF A. And there's the variety of ways of creating or saving to the PDF slash A standard using Foxit PDF. If you've learned some things from this video, please like and subscribe.